Hi friends, it's Miss Jenny. What do I have here? I told you that we were gonna do science experiments about what, how to measure things if they're light or heavy or lighter or heavier. So this is my homemade scale that you can do at home. I wanna show you how I made it. Take this down. This is a hanger that you probably have in your closet. So you need a hanger, you need some yarn, and some plastic cups. So what I did first is I found my plastic cups. Now I had actual plastic cups, so it made it easy. If you don't have plastic cups, then you're just gonna have to tape the yarn on the side of the glass. So that's okay. Don't worry about it, we're just gonna problem solve. If you have plastic cups, then I took a hole puncher and I punched holes with that on each side of the cup, right in the middle of the cup. At first, I made a mistake. That's okay, I learned from my mistake. I didn't put it in the middle, so every time I tried to measure something, if it was heavier or lighter, this cup would tip over because the, the yarn wasn't in the middle. So look. I have two holes on that one, two holes on that one. And it's okay, I didn't throw the cup away. I just made new holes. And if you just tape your yarn on your cup, just move it over. So you kind of want it in the middle so it hangs level. Level means the same. It's the same height, so I'll show you. Then I tied on my yarn, put the yarn through the holes, and looped it back up. So watch, there. I have it hanging on my light above my kitchen table. You might wanna ask your mommy and dad if you can do that. Okay, so look, they are level. They are equal to each other, see? They kind of, they're the same. Cause you wanna start them out at the same so then you can see which one's heavier or lighter. So what I'm gonna do is put objects in my scale so friends, we use scales. Like if you go to the grocery store and you say, I would like um, some hamburger and I would like one pound of hamburger, they would weigh the hamburger to make sure it's only a pound. So they, we need scales in our life to measure things and to weigh things. So we wanna weigh them and see which is heavier or lighter. Let's see, okay, so I'm gonna show you how it works. Doo -doo -doo. You, I practiced it before, that's how I knew it was crooked. So we're gonna try it. All right, first, on my scale, does that look even? Maybe if I tipped it this way. Looks a little bit better. Doesn't have to be perfect. <laughs> okay, so this is my scale, and let's see, I'm going to put, all right, I'm back. I just had to get some more supplies. All right, so now I wanna try to see which is heavier. And think with your brains, which do you think is heavier? A plastic car, plastic, or a bottle of my son's cologne? Hmm, it smells good. All right, so when you're at home, this would be easier to do and guess because you could hold it with your own hands and you could say, ooh, which one's heavier, which one's lighter? So we can kind of use our hands as a scale too, see? I can tell you already by holding this, I know which one's heavier. All right, so we're going to put in the car, so okay, wait, first, think in your head, and your brain, what is heavier, the plastic car or the cologne? Now I'm gonna put it in, okay? I'm gonna put it in underneath the, the yarn because I think that keeps it from getting tippy. And then I'm gonna put, whoa, the cologne in that one. So, all right guys and girls, you can tell right now which one is heavier. Yeah, you're right, this one. The one with the cologne is heavier. That's easy to tell because what happens is the heavier item pulls on the scale and then lifts up the lighter item. See? 
Now here, let me see if I can show you. All right, there we go. There's my hanger and my, that I made into a scale. And you can definitely tell the clone is a lot heavier because it's pulling the rest of the hanger down and the other part is going up. If you want, I just have this on the table so we can see it better. But if you do this at home, you could put this on your doorknob and you could see which is heavier or lighter.